Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Okay, example number 4. Let's continue. So, we have a book of mass 0.25 kg is placed on top of a light vertical spring of a force constant 5000 newton per meter. Okay, boleh keluarkan semua maklumat dulu. So, this is the mass of the book and the spring constant is 5000 newton per meter. So, when the book is placed on top of the spring, so what happened? The spring will compress by 10 cm. Bila perkataan compress by 10 cm, means that X is equal to 10 cm and it's equal to 0 0.1 meter. Okay? So, if the spring is released, okay, selepas uh, kita releasekan spring tadi, what happened to the book? Let's say the book will rise until certain position. So, the question tanya kita, calculate the height of the book rise from its initial position. Okay. So, let's try to sketch the diagram first. Okay. So, let's say this is the floor. Okay. And then, okay, let's say this is the spring. Okay. And then we have a book here. Okay, so we consider this as the initial position of the spring. Okay, uh, this is the release point ataupun initial position. Okay, kita consider yang color merah itu sebagai kita punya reference point. Okay, so what happen when the spring release? So, dia akan uh, contoh macam tu kan? Okay, uh, kita tambah sikit lagi uh, macam tu. Okay. So, let's say the book, the position of the book at this height. So, kita nak kira from the initial position. So, what is the height that can be reached by the book? Okay. So, let's label H from here. Okay. So, now let's start the calculation. Okay. So, let's say this is the first situation and this is the second situation. So, for the first situation, we can say that the spring is compressed. Okay. So, kita akan ada elastic potential energy. Bila mana spring itu compressed ataupun stretch, sistem itu akan ada elastic potential energy. Ada kinetic energy tak? Tak ada. Okay, sebab dia tidak bergerak. Okay, sekarang gravitational potential energy. Ada ke tak ada? Okay, ada yang kata uh, ada sebab ada ketinggian ini yang kecil ini. Uh, let's say lah ini kita namakan dia apa? Uh, H2. Okay. Jadi kita akan consider dekat mana objek tu mula dengan kat mana dia akan berakhir. Okay. So means that at the first condition we just have elastic potential energy. But once the spring release and it back to its original length. Okay. Ataupun kita tulis sebagai spring back to its initial length. Okay. Untuk gambar yang kedua, dia takkan ada elastic potential energy tapi dia akan ada apa tu? Potential energy. UG. Sebab buku tu dah ada ketinggian. Daripada initial position sampai dekat mana buku tu pergi. Okay. Kat sini. So, ada height. Okay. So, now by using conservation of energy, initial equal to final. So, we can write US equal to UG. Okay. So, half KX squared equal to MGH. Okay. So, now we can consider, saya tak muat eh, saya buat kat sebelah. H is equal to KX squared, okay, over 2MG. Okay. Okay. So, let's substitute all the values. Okay, X must be in meter. Okay. And the answer is equal to 10.2 meter. Okay. So, finish example number 4. Okay, example number 5. So, here we have 60 kg bungee jumper 
jumps from a bridge. Okay. Jadi kalau nak tengok uh, saya lompat banji masa saya zaman belajar dulu boleh tengok dekat video ini. Okay. Saya letak link dekat atas. Okay. So now she is tied to a bungee cord that is 12 meter long. Okay. So let's take out all the information. So the initial length of the cord is 12 meter. Okay. So and force a total distance of 31 meter. Okay. Maknanya jumper tadi dia akan jatuh ke bawah dan means that L final sebab dia akan reach 31 meter means that the final length of the cord akan stretch until 31 meter so dari sini kita boleh kira X okay the elongation of the cord which is L final minus L initial okay so dia akan equal to 19 meter Okay, kalau saya nak lukis, okay, yang contohlah saya ada this is bungee jumper. Okay, ha, so ini saya ha, yang cuba nak lompat. Okay, so kalau ini kita dia turun ke bawah. Okay, let's say lah like, this is the initial length. Okay, ha, of the cord. Let's say 12 meter. Tapi soalan kata tadi that the bungee jumper uh, force a total distance of 31 meter. Maknanya, uh, the elast so maknanya the bungee cord will stretch until, oh sorry. So that's mean the bungee cord will stretch until this point. Okay. Uh, so maknanya height ini adalah 31 meter. Okay. So kalau L not is 12 meter, yang kali hitam itu adalah uh, tali yang asal lah so maknanya dia akan stretch uh, ok maknanya dia akan stretch ok uh, x equal to 19 meter boleh eh ok uh, so ini adalah contoh ada air bawah ni kan ada tasik ke kan water Okay, awak kena tengok video saya lompat banji tu bawah tu ada air memang ada air ok so now Question asks us to find the spring constant of the bungee cord. So we want to calculate what is K. Okay. So let's use the conservation of energy. Alright. So conservation of energy. Uh, tapi kita tak tahu kan berapa total height. Uh, kita tak tahu berapa ni. Okay. From the surface of the water. Okay. So letak capital H. Kita tak tahu berapa. Okay, tapi kita just boleh tulis dulu. Nanti mesti boleh cancel. Alright, so total energy initial equal to total energy final. Jadi sebelum uh, bungee jumper ini lompat, okay, ke bawah, so dia akan ada uh, gravitational potential energy. And then the total final energy lepas bungee jumper tu lompat, okay, so dia akan ada, dia still ada height. Let's say kita namakan ini adalah H1. Ah, macam tu. H1. Okay. So, dia still ada UG. Okay. Plus uh, elastic potential energy. Kenapa ada elastic potential energy? Sebab bungee cord tadi dah stretch until 31 meter. Okay. So, kita tulis MGH. Saya letak capital H referring to the initial height of the bungee jumper equal to final height MGH1. You can see here, so bila the bungee jumper reach this point, so the height of the bungee jumper from the surface of the water is H1. Okay, uh, water ke, uh, tanah ke, suka hati lah eh, uh, boleh letak. So, akan jadi MGH1. Okay, plus half kx squared. Jadi dalam kes ini kita tak tahu nilai h, tak tahu nilai h1, tak tahu nak carilah k ni kita nak cari. Okey? Yang lain semua kita tahu nilai dia. Okey. So now h and h1, okey kita kena settlekan salah satu. Okey, di mana h1 adalah h minus 31. Ha, kalau you perasan kan. Okey, h1 is equal to Okay, H capital H minus, okay, 31 meter. Okay, 31. Okay, so we can substitute in this equation. MGH 
equal to mg h minus 31 plus half kx squared. Jangan risau, selesaikan satu-satu. Nanti mesti kita boleh cancel. Okay? Ha, macam tu. Dah boleh nampak kan? Okay? So, this one mgh bawa pergi sebelah, dia akan cancel. mgh tolak mgh. So, dia akan cancel. So, kita akan dapat 31 mg equal to half kx squared. Therefore, k kita dah boleh kira. It's equal to 31 times mass is 60, 9.81 times 2 over x is the elongation 19 meter. Okay, baca soalan bagi dalam meter ke sentimeter. Kalau dalam meter tak perlu tukarlah. So, the answer is 101 newton per meter. Okay, so dah dapat jawapan. Okay, so part B. Okay, soalan suruh kita buat apa? Calculate the maximum acceleration experienced by the jumper. Okay, so kita tengok sikit dekat B ni. Ha, so tadi dia dah naik sini. Okay, dia terturun bawah sampai sini. Ha, ini badan awak lah. Okay, alright. So, draw the free body diagram. So, kita ada weight which is downward. The weight of the bungee jumper. And then at the same time, okay, bila dia dah, kita dah turun sampai ke bawah, sampai maximum. Okay, so there is a restoring force. Okay, ingat restoring force. Okay, so restoring force is opposite direction. Jadi bila bungee cord ini dah stretch sehingga maximum, so automatically A adalah upward sebab uh, bungee cord tu tadi dia mesti akan patah balik ke atas kan. Ha? Macam you tengok orang bungee jumping, kalau you nak tengok, you boleh tengok yang saya lompat tu. Okay, dia mesti turun sampai maximum stretch and then dia akan patah balik ke atas. So, the direction of A is upward. So, kita nak kira ni berapa maximum acceleration experienced by the jumper. Okay, so we need to know that at this point, okay, saya tulis. So, kita saya tulis at this point, chord is stretch until 31 meter. Okay. So, we can write the equation total Fy equal to Ma sebab dia dah nak bergerak ke atas semula lah. So, kita nak kira A tu berapa. Okay. So, Fs plus negative W equal to Ma. Therefore, Fs okay, equal to Ma plus Mg. Okay. So, kita nak cari Ma kan sebenarnya. So, tak payah tulis yang ni lah. So, kita A kan. Kita padam. Okay, kita tulis A equal to Fs minus uh, Mg. Okay, minus W over M. Where Fs is equal to Kx. Remember? Okay, so kita masukkan Kx minus Mg over M. Okay, so masukkanlah nilai K yang kita dah dapat tadi. So, X is 19 minus 60 times 9.81 and the mass of the bungee jumper is 60 kg. Okay, therefore, saya tak muat saya tulis kat atas eh. Acceleration is equal to 22.2 meter per second squared. Okay, so the maximum acceleration experienced by the jumper, okay, bila dia dah stretch, Until 31 meter. Okay. So, dia akan uh, apa? melantun balik ke atas. Uh, okay. Dia akan uh, rebound back upward. Okay. Rebound back upward. So, A is equal to 22.2 meter per second squared. Okay. So, finish uh, example number 5. So, kita akan proceed dalam next video dengan example number 6 and number 7. Okay. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.